Hey guys, just a small video. Uh, I did think about this the other day. Oil. Oil is something that you'll always use in tech here and you'll need to get at some point. If you want to make fuel, for your combustion engines or anything. What are you doing, Debbie? Move away. So it comes down a big shaft. <laughs> it were. And um, a lot of the oil you'll find could be in the water like this. Now, something you may have noticed is, if you bring oil up from the water, a lot of the time your pump will always siphon through some water as well, which then causes massive problems because the water gets backlogged in the pipe and there's nothing you can do about it. So I'm going to show you is a simple way to filter the water and the oil so that when you get it back sent, uh, when you get it sent back to you, it will not have the water in there at all. Now, when we stop these redstone engines, they should start pumping. Please start pumping. Yes, there we go. They've started pumping. Why is everything so slow? Um, yeah, I might be experiencing some lag. I believe it's just because I've done quite a lot on this server that you probably shouldn't have done. Uh, I've been having a lot of weirdness with the quarries lately. Yeah, they've been like sprouting extra arms and everything. I had to turn one of them off because it had over 600 arms, which is just ridiculous. So anyway... What will happen is, it will pump through that oil, and most likely when it gets to the water, it will start pumping water through. So what I have here is a small filtration system. All that oil is coming out of this pipe into these three things here, wired with copper cable. The reason they're wired with copper cable is to send us energy into our bat box, of which they will not be doing because they are water strainers. Any water that goes into them, they will hold the water and allow any other liquid through, but the water will then be turned into electricity for you. The other thing you can do with them, which is quite nice, is once they receive a redstone pulse, if there's water in them, they'll just get rid of the water for you. So that's quite a nice little thing to do. The only reason I really did this was to get my refinery back up and running, because my combustion engines, as you'll see over here, are still going. They're just going away, loads of fuel coming into them and everything. But you can see now the devastating effect that a pump can have upon the ocean when it's gone for a long time. This is really the only problem I've ever had. Because if you've got a combustion engine going on for a long time, all of this gets massively sucked up. And it doesn't stop there. There's some over here as well, where it's sucked up over here. And a little bit over there, because it'll just do a gigantic circle around it, basically. And it'll take the water blocks at random, and if the water blocks can't fill up fast enough, then they won't, basically. They'll just die. Uh, the filtration system at the moment has no water in it. But I did make a tiny one over here that I can show you. So we have two tanks here that are going through this one pipe into our water strainer and into there. Now what should happen is, when water is poured into one tank and oil in the other, they'll mix together, which is a bit of a problem really, you don't really want that happening. So let's have a look what's happening right now, shall we? We'll uh, get ourselves some water buckets, and some quick oil buckets, and in we go, doop, 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 and the oil, doop, 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 doop. Now, the water is getting pumped through into this strainer, and the strainer's lights are turning green, it's starting to spit out water. But you can see, there's no water going through. Look, piggy, get off the machines. This is not a pig factory. Now the oil's going through, but the water's still in there. But it doesn't care, the oil can go through, it doesn't want oil. This is one of the most useful things I've ever found, because a lot of the time, your tanks ended up getting filled with water, or the pipes were filled with water with no way for them to go, and they started getting all clogged up and you started getting less fuel really. It also supplies you with a tiny amount of energy, so I've only got a little bat box here in a copper cable, because it doesn't give a massive quantity of energy. Uh, you can use these if you want in bulk. Uh, a pump with four redstone engines will easily have one of, uh, three of these running, and will fill a bat box quite quickly, which is quite nice, quite useful. I've used it before. As I say again though, water strainers will be on 24-7 doing that for you. As we saw with combustion engines that are on 24-7. The ocean does not like things that do that. And it has a bit of a hissy fit because it starts to empty. So our fuel is back online now. And we're piping fuel to these combustion engines absolutely fine. You'll notice that they're all on green. 
They can go higher than green, and I believe going higher than green would be way more efficient. However, being on green is all I've really had these combustion engines ever on. I put it down to the fact that there's always this massive backlog of water behind, and if there wasn't this backlog, then that red pipe would not power them on, so they would just stop working and go from green down to blue instantly. I've never had these blow up. Uh, I did have a comment, someone asked about, you know, they think it will blow up eventually. Now, if they do blow up eventually, I have been working on a little project on the side, and I'll be uploading a video soon on how you can store your combustion engines if you're still worried about them after using the cutoff valve. Uh, basically, a lot of people don't know how to store combustion engines because uh, they do explode, and you'd imagine it'd be kind of the explosion that you'd get with TNT or with creepers. But no. What actually happens is these combustion engines can explode a little bit more than TNT. So I'll be showing you what kind of effect they have on four different materials. We're going to be looking at construction foam, uh, sandstone, obsidian, and reinforced concrete. Now straight away, reinforced concrete uh, it's actually a reinforced stone, I think. I might be saying that wrong. Let me just have a quick check. Reinforced stone. Reinforced stone is basically the stuff that can stop a nuclear blast when there's three of it, like so. And it doesn't just stop it, it stops it like detonating all the blocks around it. One thing that I found rather interesting is if you have a lot of red matter lying around and you build a room out of red matter and put your nuclear reactor in there, the red matter blocks will not be destroyed but everything outside will be destroyed. Now, dark matter blocks will be destroyed, but red matter don't. But as I said, everything outside will be destroyed. So if you ever build a nuclear reactor, you'll probably use reinforced stone, and it will be in threes like this. The other thing I noticed is an iron door will be destroyed by it, so will a wooden. I'll just untype that. But a reinforced door is not destroyed by a combustion blast. So if you ever want a combustion in a room that you can just walk into, Stick down one of these, put a lever either side, and then just walk through. I've now got two of those. So we'll look back at our filtration system. At the moment it's doing absolutely fine, there's no water coming into the pipes. There's piggies playing around it on around it and everything. That's how safe it is, you see, pigs can play on it. So quite a lot of our oil has already been piped, but there's still some above water, which is probably why it's doing it. Ah, there's actually some water there that looks a bit odd. Now, it might have packed back a bit of water at some point when we weren't looking. But uh, at the moment, it seems to just be pumping oil, which is nice. It is just one block under, though. So it might just be pumping the oil that's on the surface. Then it'll start pumping some water. Now, the other way to stop this kind of happening is to just build, you know, up and around the little hole where the oil comes out of, which will stop you having any problem, really. Uh, that would be probably a better solution than even this one, because at the moment, when it drains all the oil on the surface, there's every possibility that it will start draining the water, and then just never stop. It'll just drain all this water before it goes on. What was that splash? Hmm. Yeah, weird things happening on this server. As I said before, though, I think it's... Um, I need to turn off the quarries and stop them running. Uh, the other thing as well that it could be is I have teleport pipes quite a lot of them around everywhere, and they've all been bugging up quite a lot recently. So the major thing that I wanted to show you was obviously the water strainers, but also that the combustion engines here have been running since I started my Techit series, and since then I must have been on mm, about two real-time days, maybe a little bit more, because I've been making videos obviously for here, but I come on beforehand, I get everything ready, I build everything up that needs to be built. And stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, just our old system there, still running. And we still have this one that's being piped absolutely miles away with a world anchor. So, yeah, thanks for watching. It's probably going to be quite a little episode, this. It was just to basically go on about that. Uh, I will be trying to do an episode as well, showing you, like, the combustions exploding in four different rooms to give you a kind of knowledge of what you want to build around, really. The other thing that I did find is reinforced glass, not affected by a combustion engine exploding. If you wanted to make your room look all nice and pretty, 
It's a very simple thing to do. I'll just do it quickly now. You put one block here, and then you have your blocks basically around this one. Because what's going to happen is your combustion engine is going to go next to that, and that's just for your lever. So you can make this as big or as small as you want. I'm only going to go with a little small one at the moment. Because uh, obviously when you're building this, you'll want to have like enough room to put pipes in, uh, to be able to walk in and out and such, which I'll just put here. Ooh. Okay, you might need a block there as well. And you'll probably need a block here and that there. What you then do is you take out a combustion engine and a lever. Uh, you put it on here, open it up, go on in. Put your combustion engine down here and put this down here. You flick this on, combustion engine starts. Nice and simple. And then you just seal it off with glass and close the door. What will happen then is you can wire this up now to say if we did a wooden conductive pipe. Now I don't know if you like to use um, the teleport pipes. I find them really handy and on a server they don't usually cause as much kind of trouble. But obviously on this they have caused quite a lot of trouble. I'm not 100% sure why. So we'll just stick some uh, fuel in there. I was also looking as well, you can fill up a combustion engine with lava, oil and fuel. And it seems that fuel is actually the most volatile. Who'd have guessed? But yeah, I usually use fuel in all of my creations. There we go. Ooh. So I use fuel in most of my creations. And this will not explode now. Basically you have yourself a little uh, resistance where it won't just explode on you. So yeah, we obviously will be going over this. I've not made a room completely out of glass like this. but uh, Well, I did make a room because I wanted to test combustion engine blowing up in it, and it did. But then I couldn't be bothered putting the combustion engine in there. Plus, that would be five places to watch. And fuel in there will run for about 16 minutes, which is about the same time that it takes for this combustion engine to overheat and explode. So you have to have water in when you put fuel in. And other than that, if we're going to be doing four tests, it's going to take 16 minutes for each one of these combustion engines to explode when they've got no water in there. So... I'll leave that with you now. Ooh, might as well shut that. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment, like, favourite, whatever you feel like. And I shall see you later.